The partial meltdown of the Fukushima nuclear power plant in March due to the tragic combination of a 9.0 earthquake and devastating tsunami has people asking about the safety of America's power plants. Two months after the fact, the literally off-the-chart radiation levels in that part of Japan are forcing people there to stay away from their homes, if their homes are even there at all. Could that happen here in Indian Point? And that's the question on everyone's mind back here in New York, particularly from the people who live closest to the Westchester County plan. In March, MSNBC produced an investigative piece that ranked reactor number three at Indian Point as having the highest risk of earthquake damage. This was based on a report by the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission. So, could it happen here? According to the VP for operations at Indian Point, the answer is no. What you would expect to happen in Japan, it would be, is very different than what could happen in New York. Let's start off with geology. The geology in Japan is significantly different than the geology in New York. New York, the plate tectonics are such that you do not have the type of plate tectonics that you have in Japan. Japan, you had a Richter scale 9. Now, Indian Point really is designed for a Richter scale 6, and we think it's actually Richter scale 7, and we're looking at that. That's over 100 times more than you ever would expect in this area. Fred DeSimo also says the site isn't susceptible to a tsunami due to its distance from the ocean and the geometry of the Hudson. Also, the largest recorded earthquake here in the Hudson Valley is just a 3.6. But DeSimo says just as important here is that the design of Indian Point is not the same as the one in Fukushima. At Indian Point, you have a pressurized water reactor, a very robust containment structure. If you look at the U.S. Navy, the U.S. Navy uses in the design of their ships and submarines, they use pressurized water reactors. Those reactors are used for a reason. If you're thinking a Navy ship, you can take a pounding, okay? Pressurized water reactors are tough, okay? And the reactor at uh, Indian Point is a Westinghouse four-loop pressurized water reactor. You look at the containment facility. The containment facility varies in thickness from the base at six feet reinforced concrete to three and a half feet at the dome. That is a heck of a robust structure. We have videos that show an F-5 Phantom jet that's laid on a, re on a track, shot down 500 miles an hour into a simulated wall of containment. Nothing happens. DeSimo was joined at last week's state Senate hearing in Rockland County by the plant's director of emergency programs, Michael Slobodin. So a lot of people out there want to know how prepared is Indian Point for a, a disaster, maybe not exactly like what happened in Japan, but a major disaster. How, how well prepared is Indian Point? Indian Point and all of the energy plants have a routine program for preparing for, practicing for, uh, through drills and exercises, a wide spectrum of events, including things that would be like a earthquake, a tornado, heavy flooding, uh, terrorist attacks. So by virtue of that training, which leads us to improve our program, we believe we're well prepared. In addition, plant operators are trained every six weeks, and there's an additional group of employees that participate in drills and exercises on a quarterly basis for what Slobodin says are very challenging events. What is your interaction with the community, say, if uh, something big happened? How do you let people know? Where do they go? We have a routine program of collaborating with the state and the counties in which our plants are located. The county emergency organizations in New York have primary responsibility for implementing the emergency plans. Uh, through drills and exercises, through routine meetings, through training activities, we work with them to improve and conduct our emergency uh, activities. The town of Stony Point here in Rockland County is within a 10 mile radius of Indian Point and would be one of the first places to be evacuated. You'll find posters like these in nearby towns telling people what to do in case of an emergency. So residents are prepared, but as one local town supervisor said, that doesn't give them much comfort. I've uh, been a party to some of their drills because we do have an emergency operation plan for our town and for our county. And uh, we all know uh, what we're supposed to do and what we're going to be faced with. And what we will be faced with will not be pretty. It is a mass evacuation. It's going to be very scary and very difficult to actually put into effect. They've planned it very carefully and they, they have all the plans that they need really in place. But as we all know, uh, when the first shot is fired, all the battle plans go out the door. Alex Gromack is a former state assemblyman 
in the town supervisor in nearby Clarkstown. I think when they first came out with the, the pamphlets and the booklets, you looked at them, and I think now it's no more than junk mail every year that you get it. You don't even read it. And I think when you analyze it, and if you do read it, it's, it's just not workable. It's nice to say that you will go from point A to point B, that uh, this part of the county will go this way, the other part will go to the south, that uh, the bus drivers will have to go to the schools and pick up the kids. It, nobody believes that's workable. Both supervisors would like to see Indian Point shut down, as does Governor Cuomo. I've had concerns about Indian Point for a long time. Uh, as Attorney General, I did a lot of work on Indian Point. My position was that it shouldn't be relicensed. My position was that it should be closed. My position was that it was, uh, I understand the power and the benefit. I also understand the risk. And this plant in this proximity to New York City was never a good risk. Indian Point supplies over 2,000 megawatts of electricity to the New York City area and 11% of all power to our state. Even some of its detractors say replacing that power will not be easy. I don't have all the answers. If I did, uh, I would be the head of the uh, Nuclear Regulatory Commission or secretary to the president. But I know that there is enough out there to heighten the debate and start to make progress. Uh, just sitting uh, in neutral is not going to even uh, begin to scratch the surface. And I think we need to start to scratch the surface and make progress. The license renewals for reactors number two and three come up in 2013 and 2015, and the debate whether to keep the plant open will continue to be a hot topic. But Indian Point says they welcome being under the microscope. After all, that's nothing new. I think the scrutinization is good because here's the, here's the issue in my mind, and this is a personal opinion. I think the more information that we get out about the facility, the better people will feel. I, I honestly feel that way. I think the more people come and tour the plant, the more they come in and they look and they see what's what, they, when you see the truth, you know, there's the old saying, the truth shall set you free. I believe that.